when I first uh, looked into um, the uh, construction of the fiberglass tube, we had to reproduce something, particularly for, for touring, which was as flexible as timber. Because the last thing you want when doing any sort of distance battling is a very stiff shaft. And what I came up with initially was a basic glass tube, which gave us virtually the same um, flexibility as wood. And you've got to remember that wood, in fact, is very difficult to get um, an even bend in two halves of a wooden paddle because wood varies enormous in de enormously in density so it, it's not always possible to achieve that. With glass fibre and carbon you can actually achieve very accurate flexibilities. So I came up with a flexibility near enough uh, to the wooden paddle using a fiberglass layup. Now <clears throat> the market obviously wanted something a bit lighter than that so I then looked into using um, uh, carbon but it had to achieve the same sort of flexibility as the glass. And by using a 50-50 weave and one layer of glass, uh, I was able to virtually replicate the same flexibility as the glass tube. And the beauty about um, using carbons and glass, you can use your, your fibre orientation to suit the product. For example, you want a good bit of longitudinal um, fibers running down the shaft to give you flexibility but where you have extra strength for uh, in the shaft for locally for the padlock system for example you can you can turn the material through 90 degrees and get your orientation going the other way so it's very flexible and uh, the system we use uh, on the rolling table is very easy to locally reinforce any part of the, of the shaft we have such a range of shafts with the, the number of disciplines in the sport, you obviously have to have a different shaft for, for each discipline. And it really is uh, a question of weight and strength competing with each other all the time. You know, And the paddler always wants the lightest possible, but he also wants the strongest possible, and that's, that's the difficulty. I can safely say we have the, the largest range of tubes, um, and most paddle manufacturers buy in their, their shafts, they don't, they don't manufacture them. The beauty about uh, making our tubes in-house is we can actually uh, lay up a tube and test it for strength and flexibility very easily and very easily alter it if we have to, um, and which makes the in-house facility very important.